We're going to decide what do the side lengths of a triangle need to be in order to actually make a triangle. So if you look at these pictures, you'll see these strips um, that uh, have numbers on them. Those numbers represent how many centimeters each of those strips are. And if you notice, when I took three of the strips, sometimes it made a triangle and then sometimes it did not make a triangle. So we're going to look at these and see if we can find a pattern to figure out when something does make a triangle or when three sides do not make a triangle. All right, so if we look, it's probably easier to look at the ones that don't make a triangle. So if you look at this example here, here I have a side length of two. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to highlight that in yellow. It'll be easier to see. There we go. Two and three. All right. And then I was trying to make a side with six. And if you look here, I have two and one. And I was trying to make a triangle six. And it did not work. And then here I had a side of two and four and they also didn't make a triangle six but the ones that did make a triangle with six are when it was five and five five and three three and four and then five and four and we'll get to this equilateral um, triangle in a second so if we look, the ones that didn't make a triangle and compare those ones that did not make a triangle, what you will notice is when I, um, the two sides need to meet. Those two shorter sides need to meet. And if those numbers are like two and one or two and three, which is shorter than six, those two sides won't meet. They won't meet to make a triangle. So right here I have 1 plus 2 which is 3. Well that's not longer than 6 so that's not going to make a triangle. Here I have 2 plus 3 which is 5 which is less than 6 so they can't reach. They won't make it far enough to get to the 6. For this example here we have 2 and 4 which equals 6 but again, they just kind of sit flat on top. So they sit flat on top. They're the same length as six. So all you do there is get two lines um, on top of each other. But if you notice the ones that do make a triangle, these two shorter sides, five plus five is 10. So it makes you, it may not only do you reach each other, but you have a peak. You have a peak. You have that triangle is made. Same thing here. 3 plus 5 equals 8, which is bigger than 6. So those two shorter sides are bigger than, are longer than that third side. So you have that room to meet and to go up. Same thing here. 3 plus 4 equals 7. And then here we have 5 plus 4 equals 9. And again, longer than that longest side. So you need your two shorter sides to be longer than your third side. Here I just want to have an example of an uh, equilateral triangle. So all your sides are the same, but still like my longest side is 4, and when I add 4 plus 4 I get 8, which is still bigger. Okay, so let's put this into rules. So the sum of the lengths of the two shorter sides of a triangle is always greater than the length of the longest side. Okay, we need them to not only reach from those two ends of that longest side, but we need them to um, have enough room to make a peak above it. So we are going to look at these and see is it possible to form a triangle with the given side lengths? So what you do is you take your two shortest ones and you add them together. We're going to compare it to the longest side. So seven plus three plus four is seven, and that's bigger than five. So those two shortest ones add together are bigger than the third. It is a triangle. Let's look at number two. Our two shorter sides are three and six, and we're going to compare that to seven. Three plus six is nine, which is bigger than seven, so yes, 
that also makes a triangle. Again, as long as those two shorter sides are longer than the um, added together are, are greater than the longest side, you're going to get a triangle. Examples 3, we have 4 and 6, compare that to 10. This time they're equal. No, it cannot be equal. It's got to be greater than If they're equal, it's just going to be two lines on, really on top of each other. Let's look at example 4. My two short sides are 5 and 7. 5 plus 7 is 12, which is bigger than 11. So yeah, that's a triangle as well. And we're going to add an example because I'd like to add an example of another one that's not a triangle. So let's do 5, 4, and 11. Okay. Our two shorter sides are 5 and 4. We're going to pair that 11, which we get 9. Since that's less than 11, they will not reach each other. So this cannot make a triangle. All right? He will not make a triangle. So those two shorter sides have to be bigger. They have to be, when I add the sums of their measurements, they have to be longer than the third side. So now I want to talk about, let's say we know what the two sides will be. Okay, we'll say, hey, um, I know two sides of my triangle are 5 and 10. What is going to be the range of my third side? To find that, we need to find, okay, what's the lowest it can be by subtracting those two numbers. And then if we add those two numbers, it will be what the highest um, it can be. So if you add the two sides and subtract the two given sides, then it'll give you the range of what the two sides can be. So let me show you how we we're going to write this. So first we're going to add our two sides. And that gives us an upper limit. Then we're going to subtract them. And that gives us our lower limit. Now they can't be 5. And they can't be 15. But they can be between 5 and 15. So we say, all right, 5 and 15. It can, And then um, our third side can be in between those. Notice those aren't less than or equal to. So our third side can't be 5. Because 5 plus 5 would equal 10. Um, and then it can't be 15 because 15, oh, because 5 plus 10 is 15, but it can be any number in between. So it could be 5.1, it could be 14.9, but it can't be any other number. So we say, all right, our side, our third side X it has to be bigger than 5, but it's going to be less than 15. And that's the format I would like you to write the answers in. All right, so let's find the biggest one it can be on this, or an upper limit. So it can be any number, um, can't be 19, but it can be underneath. And then let's subtract, and we get 7. So our third side would be between 7 and 23. Nope, where did I get 23? And 19. <laughs> 7 and 19. So any number in between. So x is less than 19, it's bigger than 7, so it's somewhere in between those two numbers can be our third side. So to make a triangle, your two shortest sides um, lengths have to be greater than the length of the longest side. To find the missing third side or the range of the missing third side, add your two sides together, subtract your two sides together.